Why does Allah wish to guide you towards Islam? What is the reason behind his desire for you to embrace this faith? You might wonder why Muslims often ponder these questions. Is it merely because they were raised in this religion, following the beliefs of their parents and ancestors? Or is it because they were born into it? Muslims deeply desire this for everyone. They believe that all humans are descendants of the first Muslim family, Sayyidina Adam and Sayyidah Hawa alayhi salam. This belief brings them joy, as they hold the conviction that we all have the potential to return to heaven, just like our first parents who originated there. Imagine the happiness of a close-knit family gathering for meals, celebrating special occasions, and enjoying time with relatives. This sense of joy can be extended to the larger family of humanity, rooted in our first Muslim parents, Adam and Hawa. The hope is that we all reunite in heaven, but for this dream to come true, we need the guidance of Allah and the teachings of Islam. Let's explore how we can work towards a positive outcome for all of humanity. Islam provides clear and straightforward answers to the questions that arise in our lives, whether they come from humans or even from devils. To uncover these truths, continue to read and learn more about these insights. First, it's essential to understand the key concept, test. Allah Almighty created us to undergo a test. He has made it clear that our purpose here is to worship only Him, the Almighty Allah. Therefore, we must follow His prophets and the scriptures He has revealed. Ignoring this guidance could lead to eternal punishment in hell, which is described as Allah's prison. Only Allah possesses complete knowledge about everyone. No Baba or Guru can provide us with information about any individual, whether they are alive or deceased. Therefore, Allah instructs us to listen to and follow His words. It is essential to believe in and obey His prophets also. Unlike Babas, Allah's prophets are divinely appointed. These Babas do not have the authority from Allah Almighty, nor do they represent the God they claim to worship instead of Allah. They lack any divine mandate. Thus, it is wiser for people to place their faith in Allah, His prophets, and His scriptures. It is essential for all humanity to accept the following truths. Allah is the Almighty God of all, Prophet Muhammad is the final prophet, Islam is the religion revealed to all previous prophets, and the Quran is his ultimate and greatest book, intended for all of humanity. Allah communicated with his prophets, instructing them to live according to his commands. These prophets conveyed Allah's messages and made his guidance clear to humanity, leaving no room for doubt regarding his rules and decrees. This process facilitated the human race's adherence to the religion of Islam and helped them navigate the test from Allah, which is an integral part of our lives. This test from Allah manifests in various ways throughout our lives. Every day, Allah assesses whether we are engaging in deceit, causing harm to others, lying, stealing, or committing wrongful ACTS. Or, we are adhering to His guidance through Islam, the teachings of the Holy Quran and the teachings and model of living by Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah has sent thousands of prophets to various regions, towns, and tribes. Ultimately, He sent Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as the final prophet, elevating him as the greatest prophet and the leader of all prophets. From Adam Alayhi Salam to Jesus Asa Alayhi Salam, all prophets are under the leadership of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Salam. All of Allah's prophets prayed to him for choosing them among Muhammad's followers. The decision was made by Allah in favor of just one prophet. Can you guess who it is? It was Asa, or Jesus. His enemies did not manage to crucify him. Allah saved him and raised him to the second heaven. Since he did not die, he is the only one eligible for the second coming as a follower of the final prophet, Muhammad. Those who have passed away cannot return to this world, so they cannot become his followers. This is the law of Allah. You see, Allah Almighty created our first parents in heaven. He created all of us in stages. As the owner of everything in the universe, Allah wants us to pass this test. He aims to save us from the fire of hell and grant us heaven if we truly adhere to his words. Adam and Hawa alayhi salam were guided by Allah. They taught humanity how to live according to Allah's wishes and the guidance of Islam. Before them, there were no other humans or gods that people began to invent, much like how they create things like pizza, tea, or coffee based on their preferences and ideas. We learn these and many other wonderful truths about our human family and our only pure, 
sacred God, Almighty Allah, who is untouched by human misconceptions and ideologies. As Muslims, we discover incredible insights in the Holy Quran, revealed by Almighty Allah, that cannot be found anywhere else. Additionally, the Holy Hadith books provide us with valuable information about the sacred sayings and actions of Prophet Muhammad. These resources offer a wealth of knowledge about various worldly mysteries, future events, and the eternal realm. This is true because he was guided by Allah Almighty to lead the rest of humanity. To wrap up this discussion, let's consider a simple example. Imagine a bird with a nest full of eggs. However, a predator bird or a snake is always lurking nearby, ready to snatch the eggs when the bird is away searching for food. When the bird returns, it finds its nest empty. This illustrates the presence of evil. Predatory birds or snakes are always on the lookout, ready to snatch up the eggs when the bird leaves to find food. They sneak into the nest and take what they want, leaving the bird to return and discover its empty nest. There exists a malevolent force among genies, often associated with Satan or devils who follow their leader, Lucifer or Iblis. They keep a hidden watch over humanity, sometimes leading people astray from Allah's path. This can result in individuals becoming disbelievers, turning against Allah and his prophet. Example, Lucifer or Iblis, the chief of all devils. Some dangerous elements among them may then incite various evil and violent actions against Islam, the Holy Quran, and Muslims. Now you have a clearer understanding of the truth you need to grasp. Consider embracing Islam today, as you may not have another chance to seize this invaluable opportunity to save yourself from the fires of hell and attain a place in heaven. We all pray to Allah Almighty for guidance along his path of Islam and for the chance to enter his heaven, where we can live eternally with our loved ones. Thank you for your attention. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe right away. Thank you once more.